Hi, it's James from the Xire team, and in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate the power of Xire's AI similarity search feature. Now, similarity search allows you to select an initial image, then rapidly retrieve other images in your database that are similar to that reference image, either in content or in color. Now, this can be useful in a wide range of situations. If you're looking, for instance, for an image containing specific content, you've already located a reference photo that contains similar content, the similarity search feature will do a great job of retrieving the photos you're after. Or if you're looking for an image that features, say, a specific color, so you know it'll look nice when hung on your living room wall, similarity search can help you locate a set of photos in your database that contain that color, from which you can choose the perfect file for printing. So let me show you how this works. Here I am in XIR Photo 2025. And getting started with similarity search is really quite easy. You can do it two different ways. So first, you're going to want to make sure that you have your reference photo selected. That is the image that you want to find other similar images to. So I have this image of water selected. And then I can choose to select this magnifying glass icon in the upper right hand corner or even more simply I can just select this find similar photos icon in the thumbnail corner. So when I go ahead and click this I get the find similar photos dialog box and with this open I see my reference image here which Xire is going to use to identify other similar photos. And then just below it, I can specify the type of similarity search I want to conduct. Do I want to look for images that are similar in content to this image? Or do I want to look for images that are similar in color to the reference photo? I can also choose to fine tune my results by adjusting the distance limit here. So if I want Xire to find images that are highly similar to my reference image, I could push the slider towards strict. Whereas if I want to cast a broader net, I can move it towards loose. And then I would get results that were extremely similar as well as somewhat similar. I can also choose the number of maximum search results. The Xire display is here. So if I want to find lots and lots of similar images, I could boost this past 100. But this is the default, and I generally just leave it here. And I can also filter by keywords if I want to say I want images only with a specific keyword or that don't have specific keywords. Finally, I can tell Xire where I want the program to look for my similar images, the whole database, the current view, or specific folders and collections. Um, so let me show you this in action. I've chosen this water image. And then I want to find other images containing large expanses of water. So I'm going to make sure this is set to content. I'm going to leave everything else where it is. I want to search the whole database. And then I'm going to hit Start Search. So here are the results. And as you can see, Xire has retrieved plenty of photos containing water, generally without any people. Um, as we get down here, maybe we start to see a person or two. We have some, some fish here. Um, and that match the same texture as that original reference photo, which is displayed up here. And I want to show you, so I got these similar results based on the content, but I want to show you what happens if I say color instead. I'm going to put color. Um, I have this set to a pretty loose distance limit. And I think that's all right. I'm going to search in the whole database. And then I will click Start Search. And do you notice the difference here? While I still do end up with some images that include water, when I search for similar colored images, I get all sorts of different subjects. So I get a photo with a blue tinted wall. Um, I get a photo of a concert that has this this blue tint. And that's because Xire has searched based on the image's color, not its content. So similarity search, it's really one of my favorite 
XR features, and I hope you enjoy using it as much as I do.